Hey everybody, Mike here at uh, MH Tutorials, and today we are going to model uh, an internal scene of a airplane. Okay, so I'm going to start off by loading a reference image. So I'm going to go to my panel view. I'm going to go to my uh, front view here. View, image plane, import image, and there we go. We're going to go for something like this, okay? Just going to scale that out a bit. And as usual, we're just going to use this as a reference. So, um, you know, we're not going to follow this exactly, but just to get a sense of what that looks like, okay? Cool. Now, what we're going to start off with is a part of the fuselage, okay? So we are going to create a uh, polygon cylinder like that. We're going to pull that up and we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees. Uh, there we go. 90. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. There we go. And let's give this some subdivision. Okay. So we're going to change that to 40. We're going to reduce caps to 0. And we're just going to take this end here, right click face. And we're just going to get rid of that. And we'll select that one as well. And we're going to get rid of that. Okay. Now let's just check our image here. All right. Now we need to create some windows. So uh, we are going to create a uh, polygon cylinder again. And we're going to pull that up. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to take a cube and we're going to pull that out. Something like that. We're going to uh, rotate that by 90. And we are going to right click, go to edge. We're going to select these four edges here. There we go. One, two, uh, and that one as well. Four. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Bevel, and we're going to increase segments quite a bit. Let's say eight. And. 0.745, that looks about right, okay? We're just gonna get rid of these edges here. We're gonna flip that around. We're gonna take these as well, get rid of those. Okay, and then we're gonna take this guy, right click object mode, hit E, rotate in that direction. 90 as well. We're going to switch to our top view. Hit F to zoom in. And we're going to take that guy. Hit W. Move that to about there. Hit R. Stretch that out a little bit. And let's focus on size here. Okay, so this is a bit big. So we're going to scale that down quite a bit. That looks about right. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. And we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. We're going to move that over. Just check from our side view here to make sure that the spacing is okay. And to be absolutely sure, what we'll do is we'll set the translate values to zero for this guy. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll take that guy, do the same, and that guy, do the same. Okay, so we got two of these. 
we're going to move one over uh, 4.5 and we'll move that one over minus 4.5 which should give us a an equal spacing okay that looks about right now we are going to attempt the dreaded boolean because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't which is pretty annoying it's like these two go to mesh combine it's like this guy it's like this guy mesh boolean difference okay that worked out okay i'm just going to take my reference image here try to anyway we'll just uh, move this guy out of the way here move that back and take this guy and move that in okay now we are going to go to our uh, front view here five for shaded mode right click face drag click these faces and hit delete which will give us this we can now right click the object mode select that guy and we're going to go to uh, edit mesh extrude and we're going to drag on the thickness to give it some depth like that let's say 0 0.5 and that will give us this okay now that we got that we're going to duplicate that a couple of times so we're going to switch to this view here right click object mode select that Control D to duplicate, W to move over, F to zoom in, and make sure we've got a close fit. Okay, and then we're going to scroll out, we're going to hit Shift D, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so and there's our image again so that will be our starting point something like that and we'll just uh, turn the grid off okay cool all right now what we're going to do is we are going to create an opening in the ceiling so for that we are going to create a polygon cube pull it up a little bit switch to our top view well uh actually just combine this hang on select mesh combine we'll take that guy move it in hit f to zoom in and let's make sure that we are in the middle, push that back a little, and now we are going to go to this view, and we're going to bring that down just to create a little gap in the ceiling, okay? We're going to repeat the boolean, and hopefully it's going to work. So select this guy, shift select that guy, mesh, boolean, difference. All right, neat okay which gives us this and you're probably asking why are you making a hole in the ceiling that is for our lighting okay so now let's focus on the ceiling here now these are some sort of panels okay uh, so we are going to create a polygon cube something like that pull that up just a little okay we are going to uh, right click face select that face edit mesh extrude hit r pull that in f to zoom in edit mesh extrude again hit w push that down like so and then right click edge Take that edge and pull that up. 
which will give us something like so. Okay, we're gonna right click object mode, select that guy, control D to duplicate, pull it over, E to rotate it around until we are at 180, like so. Uh, let's see, which will give us something like that. We're gonna take both of them, mesh combine, modify center pivot, hit E and flip them over, like so. Make sure you're at 180, okay. And now we are going to right click, go to vertex. We're gonna drag, select these, 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 and these, okay. We're gonna hit W and we're gonna just tilt that down slightly something like that. Okay, and uh, now we are going to scale this to size. So select our object. We're going to move that in here. Check our top view. Hit F to zoom in. Make sure it's in the middle. And we probably need to scale that down a bit. So this is going to go up. Hit R, scale it back a little bit. Go up some more, which will give us that situation there. And now we need to duplicate that a couple of times. Okay, so we're going to bring this to the front here. All right, we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to pull that over. Make sure it connects like that. And we're going to hit Shift D until we're all the way through. That looks nice, I think. which will give us that, okay. Next, we need to cover that opening there. So we're gonna take another cube. We're gonna drag that out in the grid. We're gonna pull that up just a little bit. Hit F to zoom in. Right click face, select that face, edit mesh extrude. Hit R and pull that in, like so. Pull it back out. That's about right. And then hit W and pull that up. All right, right click object mode, hit E to flip that over, like so, minus 180. Okay, we're going to go to our top view, we're going to bring that guy in, hit W, move that in, and again, make sure that we are in the middle, like so. We're going to check our height, that should be about there. And maybe we need to scale it down just a little bit. Hit W, pull that up. Actually leave a little opening there, like so, okay? And that's what we need for our light later on. We're gonna check out where it's at right now. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out. Actually, we're not going to scale it out because it's going to deform. We're going to right-click Vertex, select those vertices, 
We're going to pull that to the front, which will be out of Racine, but that's fine. And we'll take these and push them back there. And again, you won't see that. Okay, so what do we got so far? That will give us something like that. Okay, cool. Now let's just uh, check our image here. Okay, so the height of the chairs are just above the window. So we need to create a floor. And actually, this is a very specific aisle, as you can see, all right? So we're going to take a cube, push that back, pull it up just a little. And let's move that into position. First, again, make sure that we are in the middle. And it looks like we are, yeah, okay. This end is gonna be out of a scene, so it doesn't have to be exact. Right click, edge, no, not that one. This guy here, right click, edge, select that edge and push that way back to the end. We're gonna check our height. So push, oops, right click up, right click object mode, push that down. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that out to the walls. And now let's just figure out our height. That doesn't look too bad, I think. Okay. So now we're going to right click, go to face, select that face, edit mesh, extrude. We're going to hit R, we're going to push that in. Something like that. And then we're going to hit G to repeat that. Lift it up just a little bit. G to repeat that. Hit R. Uh, bring that in just a little and hit G to repeat that. Hit W and push that down. So you got the sense of the the aisle, if you know what I mean. Okay, cool. Okay, now for these uh, storage units up here. Okay, they're pretty high up and that will be a bit tricky. So we're going to start off with a polygon cube and we'll just uh, make it nice and big so we know what we're doing here, or at least we think we know what we're doing. And I'm going to add some subdivision to that. Edit mesh, insert edge loop. Let's do one uh, there, something like that. I'm going to switch to this view here. I'm going to put one there and one there. Hit Q on your keyboard. Uh, first, we are going to select this edge here. Hit W and push that in a little. and then take the faces down here and push them up. Something like that. Okay. Then we need to create uh, the uh, area for the grip, if you know what I mean. Select that, edit mesh, extrude, hit R, scale that in. And just uh, check our view here. Scale it in like that as well. 
Okay. Edit mesh. Extrude. Hit W. Push that in and up. Like so. Maybe a bit more. How does that look? Not bad. Okay. And then we're going to take a bar. So a uh, polygon cylinder. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that to 90 degrees. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that in a bit and stretch it out a bit. W, push it down and pull it in. Let's check this view here. Looks about right. We're going to push that in there. Hit F to zoom in. Push it in a bit more. And pull that up. Something like that. Then we are going to right click edge and we're going to take these edges here that one that one uh, let me think yeah and these as well and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. Increase that to 3. And let's make that 1. And actually, let's even see if we can shift right click and go to Smooth. No. We're not going to do that. This doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay. So now let's see if we can get this into position, all right? So select our object, hit W, move that in. I have to zoom in. And again, need to keep in mind that the outside of fuselage, we're not going to see that. So we're going to focus on the internal scene, right? So don't worry about that. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate this a bit. Not too much. And W. Just quickly check my reference image, OK? All right. So that looks fairly level. So. We're going to actually bring that in a bit. And we're going to rotate that back. And pull it in a bit. I'm going to pull that up. Let's check it from this view here. I'm going to uh, right click, go to vertex, right click these, hit W, push them out, take this guy, push them back in. Okay, so that will give us that. All right. We're going to switch to this view here. We're going to, oh, that's my bar. Oops. I'm just going to bring that back in. Hit F to zoom in. Just need to quickly fix that, guys. There 
have to zoom in. Something like so. Select these two mesh combine. There we go. And now we can take that whole thing and move it over here. And let's see if we need to scale it down or not. Actually, that is not bad. As far as height is concerned, that is not bad either. Okay, cool. So we've got that. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to pull that over. Hit F to zoom in. Bring that back in. Something like so. Zoom out. Shift D all the way to the end. One is sticking out, but that's fine. We're not going to be worried about that. We're going to select these. There we go. Mesh combine, modify center pivot. Hit control D to duplicate. Pull that out. Hit E, rotate it around by 180. Hit W and move that back in. Let's check it from this angle here. As you can see, we need to bring that out a little bit. And does that look right? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Okay, so now let's create some chairs. And we don't have to model complete chairs. We're just going to model the headrest and so forth. And this is 3 and 3, okay. So we're going to create a polygon cube. We're going to pull that up. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that in just a little. We're going to right click, go to edge. We're going to select all of these edges. Edit mesh and bevel. Let's increase segments to seven. And yeah. 0.622, okay? All right, now we're gonna try to shape this just a little bit. So we're gonna go to our top view. We're gonna right click, go to our vertex. And we are going to drag select these vertices and these vertices. Hit W. Uh, actually, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh, we're going to do that in a different way. Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We'll do something like that. Hit Q. Just move this one out a little bit. All right. Q, right click Vertex. We'll take these. Hit W and just push them back and take these and push that back, something like so. And we'll uh, just resize this in a sec, okay? So we got that. Now, one thing we need to deal with is that thing that's on top, right? So we're gonna go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, put run one around there, hit Q on our keyboard, okay? And we are going to right click face. And we're going to select these faces here. At least all the ones that we will be able to see. Uh, 
We're going to go to Edit Mesh Extrude. We're going to um, hit W. Actually, no, we're going to hit R, sorry. We're going to scale that out just a little bit. And stretch that out as well. Something like that. All right. And before we do anything else, before we repeat all that stuff, I'm just going to give this a bit of an off color. Assign your material. Let's go with a Lambert. And we're not going to texture this scene, but uh, just to get a sense of, you know, okay. Okay, so we've got the chair. We're going to pull that in, pull it down, move it in, hit F to zoom in, R to scale that down quite a bit. And remember, we're mainly seeing the uh, the headrests, right? Not the entire chair. And they are slightly above, I wouldn't even say above. They're very close to the windows here. So what I need to do now is I need to create six and space them out, okay? So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate. I'm going to move that over like that. Hit Shift D to do one more. Okay. And let's select these three. Mesh Combine. Modify Center Pivot. We're going to bring that down to something like that. And as you can see, we need to scale them down as well. Let's check that from this view here. I'll hit four so I can see where my window's at. Okay, so spacing wise, that looks about right. And our headrests are about here. So I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna move that over here and see if that spacing is correct. Okay, let's see, this is at 2907, 2907, that's fine, okay. Now, let's check to see where these seats are at. Actually, my aisle is a bit wide, maybe. So what I can do is just uh, right click edge, Drags like those, drags like those. Hit R, narrow that down a bit. We'll get rid of these chairs here so I can resize these a little bit because they look a bit small. I'm gonna move that down. That looks about right. Slightly above, okay. Control D to duplicate, pull that over, check it from this view here. Okay, this is 3137, 3137. Okay, they got the same height. Now we need to space them correctly because we want to make sure that we can uh, um, look at the window when we're sitting in the chair. Okay, so these two, and I'll just go to mesh and combine. We'll look at it from this view here. They have to be just beside the window there. 
Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So now we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to move our row forward. Uh, we don't want to give them too much space because we are talking about a plane, right? Let's say something like that. And we're going to hit Shift D all the way through the plane. And again, don't worry about the end here because we're not going to see that in our scene. And we're starting to get something that is looking slightly like a plane. So we'll probably get something like this here. Now we need to make some arm rails here because, um, yeah, because, <laughs> okay. So we're going to create a cube. Something like that. I'm going to pull that up. And we are going to right click vertex, drag select those, bring that in, something like that. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We'll do one there, one there, and one there. Hit Q on your keyboard. We're going to drag select these edges here and bring that in. Actually, let me think. Yeah, we're going to throw in one more edge at a mesh. Insert edge loop tool. We'll do one there and one there. Hit Q on your keyboard. Drag select those. Hit W. Yeah, that's better. Okay. We're going to right click vertex. Drag select those. Pull them up just a little. And let's right click object mode. Select that guy. Shift, right click, and smooth. Nope. We don't want to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click edge. We're going to select the outer edges here. And we're going to go up to edit mesh and bevel. Increase to five. And let's make that one. All right. So right click object mode, take that guy. Hit W and bring that in, into our scene. We're going to bring that down, something like that. Now, obviously, we need to scale it. Hit F, R to scale that way down. And the best angle for that would be here, probably. OK, we're going to bring that down a bit. Probably something like that. Let's just check that. Bring it in a little. To our chair. There we go. I have to zoom in. So let's check this view here. So we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. Select them both. Control D. Move that over. Now that's going to be tricky because when I start to repeat that, we have to adjust it later on probably. What we'll see. <laughs> That isn't too bad, actually. Yeah. 
but that is at a distance that we are not going to see that at all. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all that stuff. Um, let's see. I'll just have to do it like this. Mesh combine, control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W. Uh, let's move them over, check from our top view. Let's bring that out. Now they're flat on one side. Let's see if that's a problem. I don't really think it is. All right. So now we got that. Drag select the whole thing. Mesh combine, get rid of that guy. We're gonna close up the plane. So we're gonna just uh, take two polygon planes here. Hit E, rotate that by minus 90, like that. We're gonna go to our top view. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that in. Actually, I thought I rotated that thing. Yes, I did. Hit F to zoom in. Weird angle. M what? What's that all about? That's weird. Oh, there we go. Minus 90, okay. Hit W, bring that in. Just to close off the end, like that. Control D, moving over there, like that. And now we are going to create some light. So we are going to create um, lights. Let me think, let me think. What we're going to do is we're going to create point lights. OK. We're going to pull that up, which should be pretty much straight on top of my plane here. So we've got one there. I'm going to hit Control D to the third one. Now, that's a lot of light. Okay. So, we're going to drag select those lights. We're going to go to the point light shape and we're going to go to shadows. Use ray trace shadows, three and six. We're going to go to our render settings, mental ray, quality 1.5 roughly. Indirect lighting, I'm going to select my global illumination. In the common tab, I'm going to change my image size to HD720. Let's make sure ray tracing is set up. 
double the values, 8, 8, and 12, 6, 2, and 2. And we probably need to decrease the, uh, the light strength because, like I said, there's a lot of light going on here. So let's do 0 0.2 for a first render. Okay, we're gonna quickly get into our plane here. Okay, one more thing. Drag select the whole thing. Mesh combine. And let's scale this guy up way, way up. Why didn't he include my lights, there we go. What's that thing over here? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna scale this up big time. Okay, well, it's not too exact measurement, but that's okay. Now, it looks open at the end for some reason. Not sure why, but... Okay. Um, dum -dum -dum -dum. A quick first render. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we need to put up some light inside as well. So I'm just gonna import that. We're gonna go and to our render settings, we're going to go to indirect lighting, physical sun and sky, minimize that, window outliner, let's find that sun, there it is, and we are going to hit W, pull that up, and pull it out. And we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that. And I'm going to hit T on my keyboard so I can point it towards my plane like that. And, oops, that's fine. So, first of all, let's set up a bookmark here. View bookmarks, edit bookmarks, new, apply, close. Let's do another render, see if that helps any. I'll just uh, do a render in a really small size because it's a test render, it will go quicker. Let's try that again. Well, we're getting some light in, but not enough. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we are going to do a couple of things. First, uh, I want to deal with these arm rails. Edge, take that one. Mainly the ones that are close by. All right, so we're gonna bevel these edges here. So we're gonna go to Edit Mesh. And we'll give that a sec, there we go. Let's tweak that a bit. And it's not gonna be identical to the other one, but uh, let's try and get that close. Let's say, that's about right, three or so. Then one other thing we need to deal with is this little edge here. For the most part, we're not going to see the back end of the chairs, except for these. So 
I'm just going to double click that edge. Shift double click that one. Shift to double click that. Hit W and pull that down, which looks a bit better. Okay. In the back here, and let's just uh, hit F to zoom in. Oops. Let's just see what's going on back there, right? Okay, that's fine. That's not too bad. Let's see if we can tweak that a little bit. So I'm going to Actually, what I'll do is I'll create a cube. Yeah, sometimes you just have to think about what you want to do. So we're going to do a cube. I'm going to pull that up. Right click face. Select that face. Edit mesh extrude. Hit R. Scale that in a little bit. G to repeat that, and W to push that back just a little. We'll get something like that, okay? Right click object mode, select that guy, push it into our scene. So it's over here right now. Bring that down, push that way back. And now let's go inside our plane. We're going to scale that guy down. Just undo that for a sec. Let's see what the deal is. Okay, that made it a bit smaller, which is good. So now we can hit W, push that way back, hit F to zoom in. It's always tricky when you're modeling inside. And that will kind of give us a sense that we got a door there, right? We're just going to check this view here. Let's make sure it's in the middle, like that. We're going to check our bookmark. View bookmark new. There we go. That's a bit better. OK. <coughs> and now we need to deal lighting because it's not exactly what I had in mind. So let's see how this looks so far. All right, we're going to go to our this view here. Got some uh, mouse problems here. And I initially didn't want to do this, but what we'll do is we'll just uh, take these lights and bring them in and let's see what happens there all right so let's do a render and again this is a really small render but uh, just want to see if the scene is completely blown out or not let's give this a sec
we're getting there. Yeah, it looks a bit blown out. Okay, so we're just going to hit escape. And we'll just deal with that lighting situation. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out a few of these lights. Okay, so. Maybe that's still too much. Let's take uh, these out. That should be about right. Okay, we're going to go to our bookmark. Just make sure we're on our bookmark here. Bookmark new. There we go. Looks okay. We're going to go to our render settings. Let's uh, increase the image size to HD 1080, and we didn't change anything else, so that should be okay. And uh, let's give this a render. And I will pause during the render so you guys don't have to wait, okay? And here you go, guys. This is our final render. Um, obviously, you know, you can do a lot more detailing on it if you want. Um, but within the time frame of this tutorial, I think it's not too bad. So uh, feel free to uh, be creative and make it your own. Uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys next time.